Good morning or good afternoon from Lay Ladakh. My name is Ivana or Miranab Ivana Hey. And this is the situation since I think 6 p.m. yesterday. No internet, no internet. And right now it is 1.30. Yeah, 1.30 p.m. No internet. <laughs> I am still working though, still editing videos. So whenever I have internet, I upload. So you guys know I'm working on it, working on it. <laughs> Hope Manali will be better though. But at the same time, this is a really good detox. I haven't been on Instagram for, ooh, nope. Not yet. I thought maybe the internet came up, but no. It was just a text. The Wi-Fi came back on after being down for almost 20 hours. 20 hours. So of course I'm again uploading a vlog. I will repeat this once again. If the vlogs are late, it's because of the Wi-Fi. I am uploading, but the Wi-Fi gods have all the control. I have no say in that. And the mountain gods and the weather gods because it all depends on the weather. Right now we are off to the city because I need to buy some kurtas. I have some good news. My friends, Mere Dosto. We are going, well actually the plan is to go to Pangong Lake on Thursday with a local bus. So I need to get some kurtas because I want to look pretty. You have to look Instagram perfect and stuff like that. <laughs> Don't take me too seriously on that. Even though I really take my Instagram very seriously, but that's just because I really enjoy it. But I also really want some new kurtas. And today is Raksha Bandhan, yes. Not going to tie any rakis on anyone. Maybe next year when I'm in your city, I will tie you a raki. In case you're a Westerner, foreigner, you have no idea what Raksha Bandhan is. It is the festival of brothers and sisters. So sisters tie their brothers a raki a bracelet but it is also a way to friend zone a guy or to brother zone a guy <laughs> because once you tie that raki you can never date again <laughs> today I am taking the adventurous road to the main street or to the city center because I need to get my fitness on man and this road is literally breathtaking <laughs> holy schmeckers talking about fitness this grandmother is probably fitter than me let's be real She's fitter than me. Hashtag fit for life, man. Whoa, you know who that was? It was the same uh, lady who we met on the first day with the Hungarian guys. She, she probably can just run up the mountain. Definitely fitter than me. Okay, I'm gonna hate myself in two minutes. Completely out of breath. And I'm just taking the first step. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Well, actually because I love to eat and I love chocolate, but I also like to stay fit, but I hate myself. I hate working out. Did I ever say that? I hate working out. Crap, but I love eating and I like being healthy. Mm. All I see is chocolate cubes, man. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Made it up for the third time and I'm happy to report this time I only had to stop twice so it is getting easier every time I do it oh it's such a good workout man seriously okay now we're going down whoa wait yeah going down this crazy road again well not this crazy road I'm just gonna go around over there and then to the city do you see these flags over here imagine if they made a zip line out of that okay that's very disrespectful because the Goomba is like a holy Buddhist place. But can you imagine zip lining over here? That would be nuts. I would die. I deserve good food after that workout, right? <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. No, 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 no. I found a dosa place in town. Now we're gonna have lots and lots of dosa. Celebrating the workout with milk tea. <laughs> 
huuhuitsevat. That was uh, very relaxing, but now I need to find the street again with the uh, with the kurtas. It's already 6 p.m. man. I'm so slow today. Slow book. Lol. Today I am literally such an asshole. <laughs> every every guy with a store who wants to sell me something, like if they are a little bit young. And they, they tell me like, oh, do you want to check out stuff? And I'm like, no, I want to tie you a rocky. And both of them said like, no problem, tie me a rocky. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Guess who bought a kurta? I still have to get a tailor though. Guess what color it is. Whoop, whoop. I want another one though. So let's just keep looking. And scored another kurta. You can also guess the color of this one. Oh, you can already see that it has like little mirror thingies, embellishments. Now I just need to get them tailored. The thing is, what uh, Skazan told me, it's best to take a kurta with you who is already like comfortable and then let them measure that instead of just measuring it on you. But then I would have to go back and come back tomorrow and then let it tailored. And I'd rather do something else tomorrow. So the question is, should I get myself measured now? probably best I think oh man so much shopping here so much shopping man you can literally buy everything and anything you want <laughs> there you go you can see the colors getting them tailored now they need to be finished tomorrow so I can take them with me to Pangong Lake it will be finished tomorrow around 5 so that's perfect because we should be going to Pangong Lake on Thursday and tomorrow is Tuesday, so winning a life. Oh, such a little cutie, look at him. Ooh. Okay, it's 7 p.m. Going back because I'm hungry. Let's have some dinner at Skaza's place. Oh my gosh, I am so in a kurta looking mood. I cannot stop, but I'm finished. Finished, finished, finished. Got two new kurtas. By the way, the salesmen in the main street are absolutely fantastic. I have never experienced more awesome salesmen anywhere in the world I think they have so much humor this guy he was saying welcome madam welcome to my shop of beautiful girls come on in. it's just brilliant and I told you also about the other guys who were like yes yes time you hack it was so much fun seriously for me I don't mind like shopkeepers or whatever you know talking to me because you know they gotta do business too they gotta sell some ish and as long as they do it in a fun way can I also just mention for the record that I've been catcalled exactly zero times, zero times this whole week in Leila Duck. Usually I don't even mention it because you know it's supposed to be normal and stuff. Wait, should I start feeling insecure now and unattractive? No, just kidding. <laughs> and I need catcalling as a validation of my confidence. I, I feel good enough about myself without the catcalling. But I just wanted to point that out as a contrast to shitting in a guy, you know? When it's bad, you gotta mention it. But when it's really extremely good, like in Lay, I can mention it too. I have to say, I never got cat called in Mumbai either. In Delhi, maybe. Maybe once or twice. It's not bad at all. But I do really like to wear my Indian clothes, especially in Delhi, because uh, otherwise they recognize me as a tourist immediately and when I have my Indian clothes on and I shut my mouth they're always confused they're like are you Indian are you not Indian we don't know I have to just keep my mouth shut and then they they're confused <laughs> but no Lay is really nice and I feel super safe also you know walking in the dark although I'm not out that late maybe like, okay I have to confess last night it was 10 30 but usually it's like 9.30 or something, it's fine. I do that in Delhi too. In crowded areas, in Delhi that is. Don't go to deserted areas or something. But if there are enough people in the streets, 9, 9.30 is the latest that I'll be out. Honestly, I'm a little bit tired of talking about this because you guys are just absolutely amazing. I have a lot of male Indian viewers and literally maybe one out of thousand comments is inappropriate. So I feel like it's kind of not necessary to talk about this because, you know, in general, nothing crazy 
worth mentioning happens. Just sitting a guy now, I thought, you know, let me mention how safe Larry is because I feel super safe here. Acha bus. Okay, enough. I'd rather talk about food. Food, 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 food. Back at the tour guest house, eating skulls as food. So she made hummus actually. Lots of fresh veggies again. Uh, Sabji. No rice again because we don't need that when you have such delicious food. And dessert is apricot latte. Oh my gosh, Scalza takes such good care of us. Cheers. Yeah, you don't want to put it on your skin. Mmm. It's really nice. I think Lay is the best place to go after a breakup. I haven't been talking about it at all. Today it's a month um, since the breakup. I left a month ago. I can't believe that I'm in India already for a month. Time flies by when you're in your favorite country ever. Still no regrets about the decision. Obviously, I have some really difficult times. I don't talk about it because I like to, you know, process my grief on my own. And when I have it processed, um, that's when I talk about it. I don't even talk about it with my friends that much or whatever. Of course, they ask me like, are you okay? My brother is, of course you know looking out for me but the thing is when you know that you just made the right decision you know it hurts but you still have peace with the decision it's like you know like okay this is going to be a weird comparison but when you break your arm and there's literally nothing else to be done after you've been to the hospital and you know uh, got a cast and and stuff like that it's, it still hurts, you still have to go through the healing process, but you have peace with the fact that you have done everything in your power. The only way is up. All the way up, baby. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a separate video about it after like six months or something, because now I still, I'm still in the process of, you know, um, just dealing with the pain and everything. And then it's like quite hard to give a perspective, but at the same time, my nose, Quite a lot of you guys are also going through a breakup or have been through a great breakup. So maybe it's good to talk about it. If you guys want me to make a video about it, let me know down in the comments below. But if it's up to me, I'm like, Mwah! I'll just wait like five more months or something. So I'm off to bed. And tomorrow we're picking up the kurtas because they will be finished. We're checking out the Final details for the bus to Pangong Lake. Winning in life, your reward is good, man. Bunya Buranda, Bunya Buranda, Bunya Buranda, yes. So if you would like to travel along, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. I like hanging out with you. Thank you, my friend. Thumbs up for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.